Hello, welcome back. In this tutorial, let me show you how you can use the substring method and the index of method in order to separate each of the words from a sentence which are demarcated with a particular character. Here you can see that in that example string str, each of the words are actually demarcated with that comma character. And our task is to separate each of those words there from that string str. So let's do that using the substring method and the index of method. It will help you to have firm grip on these two methods. Now there is another method in the string class that's the split method and that can do this task instantaneously. But I really want you to have firm grip over this substring and this index of method. So let's do this using the substring and index of method. Later on in some other tutorial, I'll show you how to do that using the split method as well just after learning the arrays because that split method is going to return array of strings separated strings so you need to understand the arrays first in java in order to apply the split method so for this tutorial let's use that substring and the index of so first of all we need to start searching from the beginning of that string str for comma that's the demarcation character so i'm going to declare another string there demarcation demarcation and I'll initialize that demarcation with comma. Now if you have some other demarcation character you can just replace this with that other character. So we are just making it general. Now the logic is pretty simple. We need to start searching for that demarcation character starting from that string and when we get the demarcation character's position we need to chop off the string the word using the substring method. So we need to continuously search in that string. Let me take two integer variables there start index and end index now we need to start searching from the very first index of that string so start index obviously is going to be zero at the beginning and we need to initialize that end index with the first occurrence of that comma so i'm applying that index of method on str and here we need to search for the demarcation character starting from the start index now, when you are supplying that second parameter there to the index of method, it's going to start searching from that particular index. Now, if you do not mention that, it's always going to start searching from the very first index. So you can do it in either way. You can provide start index that is zero. So it's going to start from the first index or if you do not give that, it will eventually start from the first index. That means at index zero. So now that we get the index of the first comma, there in this string so this operation is going to get us the position of that comma the index of that comma the first occurrence of that comma that means that comma just coming after that g or prior to that m now we need to go on in a loop now if that index of fails that means there is no more commas in the string then it's going to return minus one so we need to iterate as long as that end index not equals minus one so for the very first time, the end index is the index of this comma that's not minus one because it really will find that index and then it's going to come inside of that while loop. So here, what we need to do is to apply that substring method to cut off this testing. Now we are doing that str dot substring and the begin index is the start index and the end index is indeed the end index so it's going to return that testing and we need to catch that in a string variable so i'm going to name it as word or let me name it as parts okay so we get that word there and let me print that into the console now we need to continuously do the same thing repetitively until we find no more commas inside the loop so now we need to start searching immediately after that comma so this index of that comma is kept there in the in the end index we need to start searching immediately after that so the start index this time will be end index plus one that's where we will start searching again that means we'll start searching again from that m now the end index is going to be str dot index of that demarcation and we need to start searching from the start index that's the index of this m so it's going to get us the index of this comma right that's going to be here now we iterate back we get that index 
end index is not equals minus one. We are coming inside of that while loop. And again, we are doing the substring. This time start index is the index of that M and that end index is the index of this comma. So index of this comma. So that substring is going to get us this, this word my that will be there in these parts. So we are printing that and we are iterating in this way. And for the last time, when it will start searching from here after the last comma there, it's going to be actually minus one. So it's the end index will be minus one and we are going to come out of that while loop. So for the last time, we need to fetch that last word. So we need to apply that substring once more, just coming after of that while. So here, string parts, now in Java, if you declare any variable or any object reference within a block that is typically local to that block only, that means that is available within that block only. As I declared that parts within this while loop, so that parts is only available inside of that while loop. So if you want to access that parts outside of the while loop like this, then it's going to be illegal. You need to declare the variable once more there. So here we go, I'm applying that substring once more starting from the start index and it's going to cut the rest of the rest of the string so starting from that w it's going to be actually for the rest of the string so i'm not giving the end index there or if you want to give the end index that should be the string length so now let me print that parts once more that means the last word once more and we are done. Let me run this. Okay, I missed that semicolon at the end of the line 16 and now it's done. Let me go ahead and run this. So you can see that all the words are separated from that string. So that's how you can use that substring method and index of method in order to, in order to separate all those parts of a string which are separated by or demarcated by a particular character or a pattern. So now if you have something different as demarcation character, you can just change that here. Say you have at the rate as the demarcation character instead of that comma, you can just replace that demarcation character there at line number six and it's going to work fine. It's going to separate the words on that demarcation character at the rate. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed this. I want you to write this program exactly now and execute this program. Have fun. Thank you for watching.